almost everyone I know who is having sleep issues do this. It is wrong. Okay. So what is it? Let's talk about it. Number one, you are not supposed to eat anytime too close to your bedtime. This is because your stomach is going to still be working and that can make you uncomfortable enough to sleep. Remember that sleep requires so much comfort. Number two, avoid eating spicy food. That is a no-no. It's just going to work like number one, get your body really active, trying to break down things and you're not going to have a deep satisfying sleep. You may feel sleepy after food, but you may not have deep satisfying sleep. Some of you will sleep so much in the daytime and then you are complaining that you are not sleeping in the night. You have stolen your sleep already in the daytime. So if you have to take a nap, it shouldn't be more than 30 minutes in the daytime and then focus your attention on the sleep you're going to get at night. Okay, because there you have more time, quiet um, um, environment, dark environment, all of those things console your sleep. So avoid wasting sleep in the day. Okay, Avoid water, water close to your bedtime as well. Now it's obvious you're going to be waking up frequently to urinate. And the more you wake up, you have to be alert. Right? You come to, to physical consciousness and then you walk to your toilet and you come back and you're trying to catch sleep again. That's a lot of work. So just avoid water and try to go to the toilet as often as possible before you come to bed. Some people like drinking coffee, like drinking caffeine, and this caffeine has been associated with poor sleep. It also been associated with headache that doesn't go away easily. So as much as possible, if you're one of those people who like consuming caffeine, try to tone down on it and check if it will improve your sleep, okay? Finally, for this video, and I'm gonna be saying this for free, a lot of us are used to scrolling up phones and having blue light enter into our eyes. It has been proven from research that this blue light reduces the level of melatonin, which is a very important hormone when we talk about sleep. So as much as possible, if you can tone down on the level of blue lights that you're exposed to and also help your sleep. But I have more for you, so please follow, like, or share this video with anyone you think may be having issues with sleep.